Ever wondered why we say catch a cold instead of get a cold? Welcome to the fascinating world of language where we'll explore some common phrases used for illnesses. We can use the verbs get or have with the names of illnesses, but we can improve our written style by using the following collocations. First up is catch a cold or a flu. We use catch because these illnesses are contagious and it's as if you're catching it from someone else. For instance, I think I've caught a cold from my colleague. Next, suffer from is used with conditions that are ongoing, such as suffer from asthma, fever, or backache. An example could be, my friend suffers from chronic backache. Moving on to sustain head injuries. This phrase is typically used in more formal or clinical contexts. An example could be, the cyclist sustained severe head injuries in the accident. The phrases be taken ill or fall ill are used when someone suddenly becomes sick. An example could be, she was taken ill during the flight. Interestingly, while people get injured, things get damaged. Remember, you wouldn't say the car got injured in the accident. Instead, you'd say the car got damaged in the accident. Terminal ill refers to an illness that is expected to result in death. For example, he was diagnosed with a terminal illness. Next, we have excruciating or unbearable pain, which refers to pain that is extremely intense. For instance, the toothache was excruciating. An incurable illness is one that cannot be cured or healed. An example could be, HIV was once considered an incurable illness. Trivial or minor ailments are small, non-serious health issues, like a slight cold or a mild headache. For instance, I stayed home due to a trivial ailment. Serious illness stands in contrast to minor ailments, referring to health conditions that are severe or life-threatening. For example, she was hospitalized due to a serious illness. Speaking of life-threatening, life-threatening itself is a term used for conditions that can potentially cause death. An example could be, he was diagnosed with a life-threatening disease. Acutely or intensely painful refers to pain that is very sharp and strong. For instance, the wound was acutely painful. Dull ache describes a pain that is not sharp, but constant and bothering. For example, he complained of a dull ache in his back. The phrase, to prescribe some tablets, is used when a doctor advises a patient to take certain medicines. For example, the doctor prescribed some tablets for my fever. To relieve or alleviate the pain means to reduce or ease the pain. For example, he took some medicine to alleviate the pain. Interestingly, a heavy cold and a slight cold indicate the severity of the cold. For instance, I have a slight cold, but my sister has a heavy cold. Lastly, a splitting headache is an idiom that refers to a severe, often sudden headache. For example, I woke up with a splitting headache. To recap, today we've navigated through the world of illness-related phrases from catch a cold and suffer from asthma to a dull ache and a splitting headache. Remember, these collocations not only enrich your vocabulary, but also make your language sound more natural. So, the next time you talk about illnesses, try to use these phrases. Until next time, keep exploring the fascinating world of language.